That's it, girls. Let's head back to the village, turn in all of our quests, and head off to get the rest of our totems. I hope that, <laughs> and that's kind of a silly thing, but in addition to hoping that the uh, ultimate weapon is powerful enough to be worth this, which I'm sure it is, I also hope that it looks cool. Because I, I do li actually like the, uh, the um, arms and armor designs in this game. Like the little uh, glowy translucent claws that I had before. I like those. The ones I currently have are okay. They're just kind of like swords stuck on little nubs. Eh. Not super special. But Alish's weapons look cool. And there's only a, a handful of games I can think of that have that really um, have a real flair for uh, weapon design. You know, uh, most games I can think of. Well, the weapons are kind of just functional, you know? That's, that's just a way to, to kill more enemies, you know? They don't really go overboard with making them look especially cool. Uh, World of Warcraft is probably the most famous for, like, being, like, even over the top in their weapon designs, but making them all very unique. Like, you'll stick a dragon on the end of a stick and use it as a sword or something, you know? Um, dragon Age, it, it does a decent job, but I don't... There's not... Uh, there's only a couple... Um, sets and armor, uh, armor and weapons in Dragon Age that, uh, I've really blown my mind. Like, whoa, that's so cool looking, you know. Wow! Oh, you bagged a bright water pearl! Ooh, that's cool. I collect them, so bring more, and I'll swap you for some of my really good stuff. I feel like he's just dragging me along so he can get a look at my 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 thong. You can see where his eyes are directed right now. <laughs> Got a miracle potion. Did I do I really have to go get more? Oh my gosh. Uh hmm. Hmm decisions. Do I really want to go? back and farm for more Brightwater Pearls. Uh, how many do I currently have? Do I have any left over or do I have to get five whole ones again? Oh, I don't have any. Ooh, we might come back. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I, I feel like just sitting here grinding crabs all day. To some degree, it's it's acceptable, but there's limits to everything. You found my trouser suspenders! Oh, good stuff! I can strap up the old undercarriage now! <laughs> Thank God. Omnium. Wonder what that is. Alright, who else do we have to bring stuff to? Uh, party invitation was over here. Alright, the guy in the Got here, here. Is this dude right here? You found the party invitation? The only thing I am noticing missing is uh, day-night cycle. Uh, the sky is super pretty, this whole area is super pretty, but um, it just stays daytime. Which, to be honest, I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. You know, if you can um, make an area look really good during a certain time of day, you don't necessarily need a day-night cycle to go through. It does add that little bit of, you know, realism and world building, I guess, but... Uh, Welcome, friend. I am Denzi. I guess we already talked to this girl. I would rather have a an environment that looks really pretty during the daytime and stay during the daytime instead of an environment that looks okay through all times of the day with the day and night cycle. Um, lily seeds. That was the other thing I needed to get. The lady over here in the church garden. Oh. All right. Um, okay, I'll go until I get five more pearls. But if uh, if these five pearls don't do it for me, if he wants five more after this, I think I'm done. Because <laughs> I do legitimately want to see what happens with the story missions as well. Although it's interesting that. Uh, I don't know that the story is really what's compelling me to keep playing. It's more of the sense of character progression 
that's the more compelling aspect to me. So, if I feel like I can progress my character more by going and doing side missions, then I'll go and do that. Um, the story itself hasn't hooked me in the way that Anachronox has. When I was playing Anachronox, I didn't really care so much about leveling up or whatever. I just cared about seeing the next cutscene, you know, because they were all so great, so well written and well acted. Um, so that, that's an interesting uh, to note that different games have different drives in that sense. And this is definitely a game that drives me more for the the gameplay and story progression than the story itself. Did I say gameplay and story progression? I would say gameplay and character progression more so than the story. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of me killing crabs over and over. <laughs> 